Okay, today's a, a tutorial how to play games with your PS3 controller on your Mac. Um, um, you can either do it with a wired controller that has a USB plug to plug into the side of your computer or wirelessly. So, first, um, this does cost money. You're going to have to go to the App Store and you have to search. Just a minute. Joystick Mapper. And this is it. So. This is it. And I'll show you how to use it. So, after, so first, open up the app. So I'm just going to go to Joystick Mapper. And you're going to open up your Bluetooth. Okay, let's wait till the Bluetooth opens up. Okay. So right now, um, I'm using a wired controller just because I ran out of ba battery the other day. So if you're using a um, wired controller, you're not going to have to go through the Bluetooth. But if it's wireless, you're going to have to, no matter what, always click the PS button in the middle to turn the controller on. And make sure that at the top where it says 1, 2, 3, and 4, show what number of player you are, it's blinking. Or it's just staying like that. Just to make sure it's on. So if it's not wired, you're going to have to go to Bluetooth, find it, and connect it. And if it's wire, if it's not wireless and it's plugged in your computer, um, it should automatically say one joystick connected when you're in joystick mapper. So basically, I have a, um, I just downloaded Dota 2 from stream from Steam, and basically we can use it. Add new present, present, preset. Um, I'm just gonna call this test. You don't have to add a tag if you don't want to. So now we're gonna add a new joystick. So basically, with the zoo, we're gonna add a new bind. So basically, what that means is, let's say, um, hmm. So basically, let's say on a PS3 controller, um, we want to be able to select, click on something. Just click mouse button, and this isn't gonna be the right click. This is just gonna be a regular click like like this. Okay. Then you click scan and click the button you want that to do on your controller. So I just click the X button on my PS3 controller and it binded it in. So if I click on new press, so if I so if I exit out of this and I click on text, all I can do is uncheck it. That's all I can do so far. So if I turn it on and I move the mouse over here with my PS3 controller, like I move it. See I'm moving this with my mouse, but when I get over here I want to select on it, I just click X and it selects it like that. Or it open it up. But that's all. And you can still use your um, regular mouse and regular computer keys um, while this is on. And that's basically how you do it. So I'll show you. Like, let me turn on the. Well, actually, let me turn on regular computers. Okay, so see, I'm just. Right now. So let's say I'm going to search something. I can still use the computer keyboard to search something. So let's say I want to search um, hmm, Dota 2 gameplay commentary. We still select on things. Must be good to be home again, sir. Um. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching and um, subscribe.